Hello and welcome to Sunhaven. If you'd like to check out the game, there is a link in the description. This is basically Stardew Valley, but in my opinion, much, much better. It has a lot more fluidity to it and it has magic. It has dragons, it has mounts, it has absolutely everything that you could want. And it also improves the combat system that I personally found a little bit stilted in Stardew Valley. So anyway, we're going to play a little bit of this. I actually purchased this with my own money. It was on sale for 20% off. It might still be on sale so if you see this when it is then you might want to pick it up it's absolutely fantastic we're going to create a new character here and i'll show you the character creator which is immense absolutely immense anyway you can choose from a wide variety of different races you have human elf demon angel amari which is kind of like beast person you have elementals as well as naga so if you want to be a little bit better at fishing then <laughs> by all means do that anyway you also have the opportunity to change your body your hair eyes hoods chest tails if you are a race with a tail and then of course you can also change your profession so you can be uh, this basically determines your starting items so if you want to be a farmer an orchard farmer which basically means that you have apples apple tree seeds blueberries and so on and so forth or if you want to be a rancher and take care of animals then you can do that too and you also have the ability to explore things so if you want to be more of a foraging person then you can of course do that as well apart from that you also have the spell caster thing which allows you to cast more spells yeah you guessed it yeah it allows you to cast more spells crazy right and then you also have the tool master which starts you off with a couple of extra things otherwise and also angler which again gives you a bonus in that particular area and then otherwise you have this which basically just gives you a lot of money and then you have a baker you can become a baker straight away and you can cook things and bake things and then you're back to farmer so you can see here then you start with onions potatoes tomatoes and all that wonderful stuff so for me personally i think i'm probably going to play a duelist i think that sounds like a pretty fun idea so why not let's go ahead and do that and what is the mermaid's touch ability Gives you natural fishing skills, increasing the sweet spot while landing a fish by 30%. Hmm, not sure if I really like that too much. What about primal nature? Hmm, that actually sounds pretty fun. Why not? Your attacks have a chance to restore health. I think that sounds like a pretty fun idea. Yeah, why not? Let's let's play as the Amari. That, that means that we're going to be a bit of a beast person. So we're going to have the tail and things like that. Shall we play a lizard yes okay let us be a lizard i think that sounds like a fun idea okay uh let's have a look what do we want tusks do we want a lizard muzzle do we want anything else like that a spiny more side spines and so on and so forth okay i have no idea cartoony uh we'll go for curious eyes i suppose and we can also go for flat scales a frilled hood and all that wonderful stuff there's an insane amount to choose from as i've already said it's actually pretty crazy how much there is and we'll go for the hoodie and we'll go for belted pants i guess and then we can change our tail as well as you can see right there and i think i'm probably just going to go for the iguana tail i think that sounds like a pretty nice idea you can also change the color of your tail if you so desire you can also change the the color of everything else as well but we're just going to stay green for the moment i'm going to call myself i have no idea just reform why not i'll just call myself my own my own name right there and we'll just confirm it and there you go so this is in my opinion as i've said before absolutely amazing it is one of the uh, most relaxing games that i've played in a long time and it really very quickly draws you in it draws you in so incredibly nicely and every single design decision because this as far as i'm aware was actually a part of kickstarter it was a part of a kickstarter campaign and it was successful as you might expect huge amounts of different backers and everything and here you go we have lynn here lynn is actually one of the villagers eventually as you can see she says are you almost done mom i can't be late for the train just a moment, Lynn, if you don't take your time, the metal will warp, you know that. She is actually a blacksmith. She's from a family of blacksmiths, and she absolutely loves the work. She really loves creating weapons and armor and all that wonderful stuff. And she's going to miss the train. I'm pretty sure she's going to miss the train, which is obviously not exactly great. 
maybe <laughs> maybe she is going to miss it who knows but yeah this is basically just the introduction and solon is the blacksmith in sunhaven and there you go her mother says you might even get married yeah sunhaven is a legendary town there's a reason so many people go there to find what they're looking for but yeah as i say this is one of those games that you really do not want to miss if you are a fan of stardew valley in any way if you're a fan of animal crossing as well this has kind of like a combination of the two and in my opinion it does both things very very well so for example it does uh, combat very well it does exploration really really smoothly it does boss battles as well there are some boss battles but the boss battles are not exactly what you would imagine they are completely different from what you'd think they're not like terraria where you're going to fight against this boss and you're going to have um, you know equipment that you're going to need to use against it sometimes you're going to have to do something else sometimes you're going to have to beat the boss in a game of jump rope for example that kind of thing is exactly why this game is absolutely charming it is brimming with charm and its aesthetic is absolutely wonderful the the sprites are extremely detailed and as i say if you are a fan of stardew valley yeah you should really check this out anyway uh not at all there's room for one more there we go this is me right here oh i mean that's good i was worried i wouldn't find a spot Oh, there we go. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of there's a bunch of seats all over the place, Lynn. You can just take one. There we go. Oh, um, so is that a charm on your belt? People from my village wear charms all the time. What does your charm mean? It's a charm to spark adventure. And we got an adventure keepsake, apparently. Adventure? Maybe I should have gotten a charm to help me on my adventure. Hey, if you don't mind me asking, are you heading to Sunhaven? How did you know? So you are heading there too. <laughs> well, if that's where you're headed, then that will make us neighbors. Well, I'd be neighbors with you any day. Oh, oh, is that so? Well, I'd like to be neighbors with you any day too. Thank you for being so kind. And as you can see, we actually gained a little bit of friendship relation with her. And uh, there are a number of different people that you're going to be able to romance in the town as well. So if you want to marry someone, obviously you can do that very much similar to games of this type anyway by the way my name is lynn what's yours oh reform that's a very unique name it must be a must be a lizard man name because it's very strange oh my you're from the great city how exciting i come from a village in the eastern region it's a lot smaller than sunhaven i wonder if you've heard the rumors it's said that monster folk have been spotted in recent times around sunhaven and that deep in the forests there is a city of darkness where all sorts of monster folk live a city of darkness? Well, that's the rumor, but I'm sure it's only rumors. Sunhaven must be a safe place, don't you think? After all, they have their very own guardian dragon protecting it, and he must be pretty powerful. Whoa, it sure got dark quite suddenly, didn't it? Uh, did you bring a light? I can't see a thing. What happened to the light? Just stay calm. It will be okay. There we go. We're gaining some more uh, friendship points with her as well, which is very nice. I'm not sure, but I think we're safe now. You don't think it was the monsters, do you? It was probably nothing. We can't be too far from Sunhaven now, can we? We should be arriving soon. Now, bear in mind that uh, because of the, um, the starting uh, job that I chose, or the starting items that I chose, we are not going to be given any extra seeds. Let's just say that. So, like, you know, for example, when we're farming and so on and so forth, we're not going to be given any... Uh, any extra seat so we're gonna have to make do with what we have at the start here in comparison to being given some extras because i took the duelist route which gives me a little bit of gold and other things anyway lucia is here she is um as far as i'm aware the leader of the town and she says my goodness what happened our train was hit by a wave of darkness as you can see there's huge amounts of massive animals around here and you're going to be able to charm some of these eventually and they can become your mounts and everything and then you can um, move around the town a lot faster and everything and i was going to say our train was hit by a wave of darkness we saw the cloud of darkness sweeping across the land it finally stopped here at the train station trains won't be able to come and go from sunhaven like this but that can wait are either of you hurt it was quite frightening but no one was hurt what is that darkness that's a good question lucia 
what should we do about the train station? Says Nathaniel, he's the captain of the guard. The darkness, whatever it is, looks like it isn't going anywhere or causing any harm. Let's keep an eye on it for the moment until I can learn more about it. She's a mage, by the way. She's a very, very powerful mage. Oh, my apologies. You both seem to have arrived under unusual circumstances. I am Lucia, an archmage and leader of Sunhaven. This is Nathaniel, captain of our city guard. You must be our new apprentice blacksmith, Lynn, and that would make you reform our new farmer. Oh yes, indeed. How, uh, what, a, what an incredibly important role I'm playing, indeed. Um, that's right. As leader of Sunhaven, I'd like to meet our new citizens personally. Welcome to Sunhaven. It's good to meet you both. Take my word that you have nothing to fear in Sunhaven. It is our sworn duty to keep the people of Sunhaven safe, no matter what. Don't worry, I will face this darkness. Frederick, my sword. Um, Nathaniel? <laughs> okay, apparently. <laughs> There's his sword. It's pretty heavy, as you might imagine. Thank you, Frederick. I don't think a sword will work. We'll need some time to research and come up with a solution. Hmm, you may be right. A sword probably isn't the best thing to fight dark magic clouds with. I'll post some guards to keep watch of the area in the meantime. All right, Frederick, false alarm. You're dismissed. I'm sure he's I'm sure he's absolutely one wonderful. I'm sure he's having a great time. Yeah, he's a great kid. After his apprenticeship ends, he'll make a fine guard. All in good time. Speaking of good time, maybe it's a good time to show our new citizens to their homes. I think you're right, Captain. After what they've been through, I think a rest is in order. Come with me, Reform. Your farm is waiting. And I'll show you to your new home, Lynn. It's right near the quarry. I can't wait to see the work you and Solon do. Oh, and it was nice meeting you too, Reform. Thanks for chatting with me on the train, Reform. Maybe we'll be able to talk again soon. Goodbye for now. Oh, and could I ask you to not mention the darkness to your fellow villagers? I just don't want everyone to worry, is all. We've got it under control. Shall we see your new farm together then? Lead the way, Archmage. And look at me, look at me. I've got a, an absolutely wonderful looking suit jacket on. And it looks completely ridiculous. Let's face it. It doesn't look particularly good on me, does it? Oh, well, never mind. Welcome again to Sunhaven Reform. Despite how adventurous your arrival here was, I'm sure we'll have it all figured out soon. Well, here we are. First thing is first, though. You need to decide where your house is going to go. Go ahead and pick a spot. Just so you know, the path we're standing on leads directly into Sunhaven. You can place your house close to the bridge if you'd like to be close to town. I can see some pretty nice spots from here, but it's all up to you to decide. Good luck and farewell for now. And there we have it. So, basically... That is how the game begins, and then you are given a certain amount of different quests. I'm actually going to be placing my house round about here, nestled against the cliff. I think that seems like a pretty nice place to put it. And you need to actually purchase a house demolition kit if you want to move your house later on. However, you are going to lose all the contents and upgrades if you do move it afterwards. So we're just going to say yes to confirming. And then we're going to be able to go inside. And this is very simple, isn't it? Yeah, it's very simple living here. And who's this? Knock, knock. Look at you. Up and at them already. You're really committed to this farming gig, huh? That's great. Well, who are you and why are you in my house? Ah, where have my manners gone? My name is Anne and I happen to be Sunhaven's most distinguished merchant. I wanted to officially welcome our new farmer to town. Speaking of which... I can't help but notice you don't seem to have any farm tools or seeds. Why don't you let me take care of you? Well, seriously, what are you doing in my house? I want to make a deal with you. I call it Anne's ready-to-go farm kit. All the tools you'll need, plus 15 wheat seeds, and for only 250 coins. I'm going to say 150. Final offer. Fine, it's a deal. Tough customer. Hmm, I like that in a business partner. There's no relationship stronger than one born in business, you know. Why don't we step outside and you can show me how you do your work, huh? Oh, well, uh, these tools are all rusty. I have to craft better ones when I can. And there we go. We have now been given a whole bunch of stuff. And this is obviously additional to the various other things that you would have gained if you hadn't picked 
the same profession because I obviously picked the dualist profession but you can of course decide on whether you want to be a spellcaster or whether you want to be a regular farmer with no combat bonuses or a fisherman or anything like that you can basically decide whatever you'd like anyway let's exit and uh, now we can now we can actually try out some stuff so now we can literally just go around and we can start hitting some of these things we need to plant some stuff as well by the way the scythe is really really extremely fun to use because as you can see you can actually move while using it and it gives you farming experience as you can see down in the bottom right basically any single thing that you do in this game gives you experience and it is very satisfying to see that bar go up and that's one of the things that I really appreciate about the game as well because it makes leveling up feel good. It doesn't make it feel like a chore, at least in my opinion. I mean, maybe some people will feel like it, you know, maybe makes it into a bit of a chore, but I don't think so. I personally very much enjoy the way that things are done here, as well as the fact that the music and the soundtrack is absolutely wonderful. You don't have to, you know, it's it's really relaxing you know what i mean it's just so so good anyway we are just going to be placing a bunch of these down here just gonna do a little bit of tilling and then we're going to place all the seeds down just gonna put a little bit more here bear in mind by the way that i am not very organized when it comes to farming at all so if that annoys you then uh well you should just buy the game yourself and do it in the way that you want to do it but you know for me personally that's just yeah probably not going to happen anytime soon anyway i'm just going to water all of these probably have to remove this um this tree in my way here and there we go my watering can is empty so i need to go over to here this is the reason why i personally feel like this particular position is quite nice because you are able to go over to this water source relatively fast and you don't have to worry about traveling a far distance to get there and there we go, I've watered absolutely everything. Now all we need to do is cut down a couple of extra trees. So let me actually just clear that out over here and then we should be absolutely fine. As I've said before, there are a number of different biomes that you're gonna be able to explore too. There are some mines, so you're gonna be able to explore the mines and you know fight a, a bunch of creatures down there. And as I've said as well, in my opinion, the combat system is much more fun much more usable in this game than in others that I've played and in general it just makes it into a, a much more satisfying experience in general. Anyway we're going to be going and speaking to Anne in just a second. We've gained a bunch of logs which of course will now be used to create planks I assume. There we go. We've also completed the quest. Oh yeah there's a huge amount of different quests that you can do for the variety of villagers in the town as well. Okay, so I'm going to go for combat skill, maybe, maybe mining skill. I have no idea. I'll go for mining skill, I guess, right now. And we've also gained level two exploration. And I'll show you the skill tree after this as well, because I don't, don't, don't think there isn't a skill tree. There is a massive skill tree. Anyway, as you can see, if you really want to build up your farm, you should take those logs to a crafting bench. Hey, I can see one from here, actually. And there it is. We can actually replace that any to anywhere we want, but I think its current position is absolutely fine. You can turn logs into planks and other useful things. Anyway, you should check out the general store, because let's be real, a measly 15 wheat isn't going to get you very far. It's directly to the right of your farm. You can check the map using M. If you want to make some real money, try growing more like 40 wheat. Once you harvest it, sell it in that cell portal next to us. That's the cell portal right there that you can place any of your goods in and any things that you don't really want, and you can just make some profit. So there we go. And now we've started a new quest. That's basically our uh, main quest here. This is a side quest as well. And now I will show you the skill trees. So there are five different skill trees available exploration farming mining combat and fishing and each of these level up individually when you do the activities associated with those skills so for example exploration is about foraging things so being out in the world foraging things from trees picking up things from the ground and so on farming is about well pretty much obviously farming on your farm Mining is about mining, so using your pickaxe and everything. Combat is obviously about fighting enemies 
wherever you can. And fishing is again self-explanatory. And you're going to be able to put, put skill points in any number of these things over here. So this is going to be extremely useful for you. I'm actually going to be taking air skip probably because this actually allows you to traverse the world just that much faster. I don't have actually any other skill points anywhere else, so that's kind of sad. This is my backpack here. You can see that I currently have an adventure keepsake that allows me to regenerate HP, and it actually gives me a little bit of extra attack damage as well. And uh, these are my current stats, and you can equip cosmetics as well as regular equipment as well. So there's also that. And apart from that, you can check out all of your current known relationships. There are huge numbers of NPCs that you will be able to romance as well and if you're not into romance at all then you don't have to do any of that if you don't want to for me personally I think that that's a lot of fun but that's obviously just me otherwise there's a quest log here here's your map as well by the way it's massive absolutely massive this is by the way just Sunhaven this is only Sunhaven and you can tell exactly how massive it is because if I scroll over to my farm, which is uh, here, you can see this is my farm and you can imagine just how massive it actually is. If you just look at the zoom out, it's really, really large and you're going to be able to explore absolutely every single facet of, the, of these areas here. And by the way, there are two other places that you can explore. I think there might even be another one after that. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't gotten that far with my other character, but there's Sunhaven, then there's an elven territory, and then there's also a demonic territory as well. And I believe there's there's maybe something else apart from that. As I said, I'm not entirely sure about that. So don't quote me on it. Anyway, we're just going to craft a bunch of wooden planks. And you can basically craft that and leave it to its own devices. It's just going to go ahead and do whatever it wants to do by itself. Oh, yeah. And there are also these kind of Snorlax events. These are Snackoons. Snackoons are these little guys that are basically just um, snoozing in the way. And you're going to need to feed them with something specific to be able to remove them from blockading your way. As you can see, this furry lump is in my way. Maybe it would move if I brought it something it likes. And then it tells you that the guy wants 10 apples and 10 wheat. Very easy. Once that's done, that's going to enable us to have a shortcut over to the bakery, a shortcut over to Kitty's house, as well as the animal store, as well as Lucia's house if we want to go there. And it also allow, allows us to go to all kinds of other places too. And that's just a nice little shortcut there. So if we want to do that, then of course we can do that. And now we have the ability to take these planks and then move on. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm actually going to be placing these green root seeds down here as well. There we have it. And then otherwise we can just continue to clear out the way here as well. And that's the point. The more you do in the game... The more, uh, the more farming you do, the more mining, the more exploring and foraging and so on and so forth, the more powerful your character gets and then you're able to do even more things. You're able to unlock additional activities, you're able to unlock uh, different quests and everything and you're going to be able to accomplish a variety of quests at the community board as well. And the community board awards you with community tokens which can then be used to purchase various cosmetics and various other really really fun little items that are going to provide you with some nice little you know just nice little benefits that it can just in increase the enjoyment of the game for you that's basically it anyway increase the sale price of each crop by a certain amount of gold uh, receive blue rose seeds in the mail every Friday. Well, it's Sunday right now, so it's not actually worth it for me to do that just yet. Going to go for the sell price of each crop. That's probably going to be pretty good for me. And I'm actually just going to be moving over here real fast because what I want to do is I want to clear out all of this for a very specific reason. I literally just want to power level my farming right now as fast as I possibly can just to literally get the uh, first couple of ranks in that one skill. Because once I do that, every single time I sell some crops, I'm going to be getting a lot of extra cash. And that can make a pretty big difference early on. And that's kind of what I'm attempting to do here. So after I do this, I'm not sure if I'm even going to be able to make it to that point. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. But if I don't make it to that point, then that's obviously sad. But 
It doesn't really matter too much because I've already gotten two ranks in it. I might be able to make it there. But uh, usually the best way of leveling up farming is literally harvesting, harvesting crops. Harvesting crops is really, really useful, especially when you have a large farming plot. Having a large farming plot is very nice. Oh yeah, it's very nice. Because once you've uh, planted a bunch of wheat and potatoes and tomatoes and onions and all kinds of other things, magical, magical vegetables as well, then you're all of a sudden harvesting an insane amount of stuff and it gives you almost like a half a level when you're even at, you know, a much higher level of farming than I am now. Anyway, there you go. We actually did unlock all of the ranks in that and I think I'm actually going to have to clear out some other things here as well. I'm going to have to uh, do this because I did get some more green root seeds, so I might as well just do this in the meantime. There we go. And then we can just plant those. There we are. Wonderful. And this is obviously my inventory. Okay. So yeah, we are just going to go and take a look at the general store because I'm thinking that maybe what I'd like to do is maybe purchase some wheat because if I can um, grow some more wheat early on, I should be able to uh, kind of turn that additional cash into some uh, nice profit really really early on and then get some additional wheat and so on and so forth and it's just gonna spiral and hopefully give us a much better result in the end and as you can see i'm just foraging some apples and things like that um over time here that obviously is going to make a pretty significant difference i don't have a fishing rod at the moment otherwise i would go to the lake down there and i would uh, try to fish some things up anyway this must be it the Sunhaven general store i better head inside and see what they've got and this is the community board here as well by the way so people can put their requests up there and you can uh, you know take a look at that and see if they you know see if there's something that you have that you want to give them and then you're going to get some relation with the person you're going to get some community tokens as i've said and this is emmet now this is actually a really funny fourth wall break as well uh, personally, I, I think that the game has a lot of charm to it, not only in the fact that it looks very cute and it has a great aesthetic, but the writing of the characters is very endearing. Anyway, Emmett says, you've got to be that new neighbor people are talking about. Welcome to the general store. Oh, wait, one sec. There we go. Anyway, I'm Emmett. I work here and over at the farming shop and down at the fishing store and in town hall. Okay, I work a lot. I heard people say you're supposed to be a farmer. Well, we sell lots of basic seeds among loads of other things. Our furniture stock also changes every day. Be sure to always stop in and see what's new. And then we say, wait, so how do you work at so many places at once? I keep my nose to my work, no distractions. But then I move really quick. Do you ever not work? Ah, that's the great thing about this place. There's never not any work to do. See, they've set up this bulletin board right outside the shop. Everyone always goes there to post up job offerings. All those odd jobs net me a pretty gold coin or two, that's for sure. If you don't waste time with stuff like sleeping, you'll have all sorts of time to get work done. Yeah, that's a pretty funny thing, right? Anyway, hey, eager to help out, huh? Well, that's funny because I was actually meaning to finish a delivery that was posted up on the board. Thing is, though, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in time due to being stuck and stuck at work and all. So why don't you complete the delivery for me? Sure. Uh, thanks a lot, neighbor. It's an order to Solon, our smith. I was supposed to deliver it to him, but I guess I got caught up with work. Just take the order to him so he can smith up what our barracks need. And remember that people can't wait forever. You usually only get a few days to complete the task. And take a look around the shop. There we go. I'm also in several other places all day. And this is what's really funny about this. This particular NPC is actually present in the general store, present in the farming store and the fishing store all at the same time. And that's the reason why he said, I move really fast. I always thought that was really funny. Anyway, we have green root seeds available here. Uh, we also have wheat. I think I'm probably going to buy just wheat because it's done in four days. We could get green root seeds as well. Uh, you can also see the base price of some of these things too. For example, these tomato seeds could probably be pretty useful, but I'm thinking we're just going to go for wheat for the moment. Mm, yeah, that seems to be the best thing for me to do. So I'm just going to get 10 wheat seeds and then we're just going to go away 
and uh, maybe have a look at the bulletin board as well. Or though we do have a quest to complete right now. We need to go and deliver the order form to Solon at the quarry. So we might want to do that instead. Anyway, as you can see, we have two different bulletin board quests. Uh, it's Darius's birthday apparently today. Darius is someone that we're not going to meet for a very long time because he is a demon. Yes, indeed. Anyway, uh, this person needs five apples for target practice. Hmm, we might be able to actually do that. 15 stones should be enough. Okay, we can probably do that as well. All right, I will try my best to get 15 stones. I only have one apple right now. I kind of have an idea as to where to go for that. Uh, it's gonna, oh no, maybe not. Maybe this is a bad idea. Because obviously most of the uh, the areas that you can actually get apples are uh, quite far away because, you guessed it, snackoons are in the way. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for you to get those. But maybe I will be lucky. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I do know for a fact that there is a chest up here. This is the doctor's house. And as you can see, the doctor is extremely pristine. And you can actually open this up right away. There you go. And there is a farmer's ring. And that farmer's ring is going to enable me to gain 5% bonus farming experience uh, very early on. So that's that's pretty nice because, you know, any additional experience gain you can get is going to be pretty useful for you. Anyway, there's a bunch of other foraging areas to go around here. Uh, you can also change the duration of how long you spend in the daytime because there isn't an energy bar in this game in comparison to Stardew Valley, for example. Because uh, there is an energy bar in that, and as a result, you eventually pass out, and then you can't do anything else. And in my opinion, that's kind of annoying. So I personally very much like the way they're doing this, where it is duration-based rather than energy-based. And so you can spend as long as you want, as long as it's not longer than the, than the duration uh, of the day. And then you can just have a whale of a time. You can just have a super, super fun time doing whatever you want to do. And I'm actually just going to be picking up a couple of things here just to forage some stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it seems as though I will maybe not be able to complete the Apple quest, but I'm not sure if there are any negatives to it. So I guess we're just going to have to figure that out as we go. This is Rupert, and this guy is hopefully going to be able to give me... Okay, he didn't give me the fishing rod. I, I assume I'm going to have to do the... Uh, the main quest to be able to do that. And I should probably go and speak to Rosa actually first as well, because as you can see, there are enemies there. I won't be able to fight them because I don't have a sword. Yes, I don't have a sword. I know, I know. It's absolutely, it's a travesty. I'm going to need to find a sword. And to find a sword, well, what do I need to do? Well, I need to do the main quest. So I should probably go ahead and do that. Um, but maybe I should head into the mine a little bit. Mm, yeah, I might head into the mine to get some stone real fast because that's definitely going to help us out to complete one of these tasks at least. Mm, if we can, because we might not even be able to because the quarry obviously is where we need to go first and the quarry is right next to the mine, by the way, so we might be able to make, hmm, might be able to make it work. Who knows? And uh, there are also chests all around the world as well. For example, this chest right here, this requires a certain key. You can craft all kinds of different keys and armor and weapons and a variety of cooking goods as well. And here we go. Well, no, I bet you that flirtatious new farmer Lin was going on about. Flirtatious? I'm not wasting my time with any apprentice who isn't serious, and this one is already better than the last. You better not be a distraction. You hear what I'm saying, farmer? Well, uh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, thank you. Gah, it's that pesky little dragon again. Blimey, look out. And here comes the little dragon. Oh, yeah, and it's cute. Oh, yeah, it is very, very cute indeed. Look at that thing. All right. Ah, here we go. And now we're going to have to get rid of these uh, these rocks. Yeah, I think one of my toes is smushed. Oh, wait, it's fine. No, I'm just going to say I'm all right. There we go. All right, so now we just have to help Solon break these rocks. This is actually perfect because this gives me stone, which is exactly what I need for Topi's Bridge, which is, in fact, a three-day-long quest, which is kind of annoying because I would have preferred the Apple quest to be the thing that is a little bit more lenient 
with its time duration, but oh well, never mind. This is easy enough. Alright, that'll do it. Thanks for the help. Maybe I was a little quick to judge you, farmer. What was that baby dragon doing anyway? It's been roosting up in the warm quarry rocks. I figure it must like the heat. I'd let him stay, but the little bugger doesn't seem to know its own strength. A single flap of its wings can send rubble flying. Well, what should we do? For my part, these two copper helmets from the barracks order won't abba themselves. For you, I'd reckon that talking to Archmage Lucia is your work order. We all got our part to play here and mine ain't lugging these old bones back to town while the forge is hot. Well, Town Hall got it. Alright, thanks very much. There we go, and now we can get, get some mining XP. I'm going to try and get mining XP as much as I can here. And now we have another skill point to spend. So what are we going to go for? Well, mm, it's probably a good idea for me to uh, mm, maybe go for sapphires. 5% chance to drop more sap. Yeah, why not? More sapphires can kind of be useful. And I wouldn't mind actually going into the mine, but I probably shouldn't do that right away. Should I? I need to get additional stone. So I'm going to just show you anyway, because you obviously haven't seen the mine yet. There are huge amounts of different levels. At the end of each uh, level, there is a chest. And the chest enables you to loot it. And it gives you gold. It gives you all kinds of other things. And you need to get a rusty key to be able to unlock this gate. And then you can take the mine cart lower. However, the rusty key only unlocks the gate for that day. It doesn't allow you to unlock it permanently. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get copper ore and then create copper bars and then those copper bars can be turned into copper keys as you might expect and then you can use the copper keys to unlock these gates permanently and then you can teleport down uh, well basically teleport down to any level that you want. Um, that is up to level 10, I believe. And then once you're past level 10, then you're going to need iron keys. And then once you're past level 20, you'll need adamant keys. And then you'll need a bunch of others after that. You see what I mean? You know, you know it's, it's, it's a very natural prog progression of things and very easy to understand. And um, yeah, as you can see, we're just gonna kind of get rid of all these. I'd like to get a sapphire actually, if I can. But I'm, it's unlikely I'm going to get one, to be honest. I got a rusty key already, hilariously enough. So I may, I'm actually able to open the gate if I want to. But of course, I probably shouldn't because I don't actually have a sword. And I'm not going to be able to fight any enemies that I encounter. So that's obviously going to be a little bit uncomfortable, a little bit awkward. It's going to be like, oh, hello, big monster. You're going to eat my face. I don't have a sword to slay you at the moment. So yeah, it's going to be kind of annoying. So I will just leave the mines for the moment. I do have enough stone to be able to hand in this quest at least. And that's all that I really wanted. Otherwise, apart from that, I should probably try and find a way to get some more apples. And uh, I think I might need to go into one of the nearby forests. I think that might work. Although doing that might not work because there are going to be snackoons in the way. So that might be a bit problematic in itself. Otherwise, apart from that, I'm going to end this episode off here. If you would like to see more from me and Sunhaven, then by all means, let me know. I absolutely love this game and I would be very happy to play more. But if you don't want to, that's perfectly fine. If you don't want to see more, then... Maybe you want to play it yourself, maybe you don't, and if you don't want to do either of those things, then that's absolutely fine. I'm going to be playing it my own time anyway, but otherwise, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.